Welcome back. A young lady from Northeast Texas will be representing our state in a great pageant, and she joins us today. Olivia Lavoy is the newest Miss Wheelchair Texas USA. Thank you so much for being here today. It's a blast. And congratulations. Thank you. Um, great accomplishment. The competition, the national competition, mm -hmm. is in July yes. in Ohio. Um, but this is exciting. Talk to us about the competition. Well, it's going to be um, July 16th through the 20th. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Cuyahoga Falls. Uh huh. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. It's a full week of community service, interviews, just having a fun meeting people. It's just going to be a blast. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you a little bit of both? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the opportunity of meeting new people and just showing the country that just because we're in a wheelchair and we have a disability mm -hmm. doesn't mean we can't do something that somebody else can do. Talk to us about you know why you decided to start entering these competitions. Um, I know it's kind of been a, a lifelong dream of yours. It has. Um, I always grew up watching Miss America, Miss USA, and I wanted to be one of those girls. Mm -hmm. But I knew physically I cannot uphold to the physical standards mm -hmm. and so my mom and grandma were looking in a magazine and found Miss Wheelchair USA mm -hmm. and it just started there. I did the, the state application and found out in November I was crowned Miss Wheelchair Texas. Congratulations um, and this is a lot about I know you do a lot of community mm -hmm. service and a lot of uh, going around to schools talking to people mm -hmm. about being unique. Exactly I mean that's it goes along with my platform, Motivation, We Can Do It, and it's just something that I've always wanted to do, is mm -hmm. be a motivational speaker, and now I'm having the chance to live that dream. I know one of the parts of the uh, pageant that always seems to make people nervous and trip people up is the kind of question and answer uh, part. How do you, do you, do you like that part of the competition? I love it. I grew up um, behind a camera doing interviews with Muscular Dystrophy Association. Um, I grew up in the livestock industry, so showmanship questions were no big deal. So interview questions I love doing. It's no sweat. Speaking of the livestock industry, you actually have your own uh, business showing cattle. Yes. Um, I own a small cattle company called Rhinestone Cattle Company uh -huh. in Flint, Texas. Mm -hmm. And we raise lowline and midline Angus. And I've been, I started my company when I was 16 years old. Wow. And been doing it ever since, and I love it. Incredible. And you are in college right now, I understand. Yes. Tyler Junior College. Mm -hmm. I'm a sophomore, and I'll be transferring to Texas A&M University. Congratulations. Whoop. There you go. I, I am a fellow Aggie. Um, congratulations on, on your achievements. Um, so talk to us about, you know, kind of what you're going to be doing preparing for the pageant in July. Well, um, I've started my tour of Texas. Um, I did my hometown stuff, and now I'm here in Austin, Texas, starting my tour and just getting out there and getting sponsors and also just showing the state that just because I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean I can't do anything. Yeah, this, um, y you did not um, begin your life uh, disabled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this happened kind of throughout life. Mm -hmm. kind of, can you take us back through that experience from then to now? Um, I started walking um, at a young age and my mom, grandma, and papa all knew something was wrong because I walked on my tiptoes just like a ballerina. Hmm. And when I fell, I fell inwards and when I got up, my mom says I look like a monkey. So hmm. we'll go with that. Um, so when I was four years old, um, mom, we did the hometown medical and they just couldn't figure out. So then we went to Children's in Dallas and a Nigerian doctor um, wanted to do one more test mm -hmm. because she thought I had muscular dystrophy. Mm -hmm. And my mom was against that, and so that's when she wanted a second opinion. So we went to Cook's Children's in Galveston, Texas, mm -hmm. and they did one blood test and diagnosed me with spinal muscular atrophy type 3. Mm, wow. Well, uh, it's just a great thing that you're doing now, um, your platform, and encouraging kids to, to be unique. And mm -hmm. it's okay to be unique. And we just wish you the best of luck. I know you'll be representing Texas well. You've already got your cowboy boots on. I do. And uh, you already have a livestock company. <laughs> so, uh, once again, congratulations. The pageant um, for Miss Wheelchair USA is in July in Ohio. And we just uh, wish Olivia the best of luck. Thank Thanks you for guys being so here. Much. Thank you.